Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sati, for joining us today. I, I know you have a very busy schedule, but we want to know who Dr. Sati is. Um, so if you could share us, you know, a little bit about your background, uh, passions, and the journey that led you here today. Well, as you know, Mubashar, if you have above 50, the story goes very long. So I'll summarize it. And just to let you know that after my high school, I went to Australia for my undergraduate. I did my Bachelor in Electrical Engineering and returned back. And I joined Royal Saudi Navy as an electronic engineer. So the career started as an electronic and communication engineer. And that was a radio and radar side. Uh, during this tenure, I was, uh, you know, especially uh, deputed on the information security to ensure that all the communications are secure. So that was the beginning of my career as an information security engineer. Uh, then uh, after a few years, I decided to go back to Australia. I started my work in a telecommunication company. And meantime, I got another opportunity to go back to my same university, University of New South Wales, Sydney. And I did my master's in telecommunication engineering. Returned back to industry again and started a bit advanced level kind of uh, my professional uh, duties. And this time I was uh, handling uh, larger data centers for a corporate customer. And also to ensure that uh, all the communication as well as the data is fully secure under the guideline of our uh, governmental agencies. Uh, then during this time, I got another opportunity to go for PhD. So again, the, all those communications and stuff is highly backed by my knowledge. And I use this as my candidature in the university. And I did my doctorate PhD in cybersecurity. So uh, off and on, university, industry, university, industry, has given me a leverage that I understand this subject and I was very specific to this profession. Uh, and, and in 2005, I decided to come back to Middle East as a closer to my roots. The reason behind is that I started my company in 2001 and I have done a good job and I, I see that I can run a good business. So my entrepreneur sk entrepreneurial skills has uh, just uh, you know, tempted me to come back to near to roots to create more jobs and uh, transfer the knowledge which I have achieved over the 16 years in Australia. And that was the, the first, uh, you know, my aspiration to be in the region. Now, definitely this journey was, uh, and this, sorry, this decision was heavy decision to have a reverse migration from Australia to Middle East and uh, work for the people around this region. And that was the, the motivation which behind to start the operation of IT Butler here in Saudi Arabia, here in Dubai and in Saudi Arabia. Sure. Uh, I, I think we've had a run through of, you know, your uh, initial idea of how the business was set up. But if you can walk us through the main factors and the, the experience that convinced you to, you know, start your own uh, business. Uh, well, as I mentioned that, um, you know, uh, having, a, you know, a good opportunity of, uh, you know, studying and then working in industry, uh, I saw that uh, information security and later on cyber security will be very challenging, right? Uh, secondly, when you are an employee, you have a set of duties and you have roles, which is specifically to a technical aspects rather than running a complete company where you have to arrange your cash flow, you have to have your investment. So all in one, you need to have a different personality than only a technical. So I thought, why should I not try that one? The reason behind uh, one, one of the reason, historical reason is that my father was uh, a businessman in a, in a small scale, uh, but he always, uh, you know, trying him, him uh, as, a, as a very successful and he did it. So that was the, the family motivation which I got. And uh, A, I did the, you know, better in IT and telecom. Secondly, uh, I have the same, you know, spirit, which I transfer to my two sons and both are in business. One is in full in business, another is studying and hopefully he will also join us or he will join his own company or he can have a new startup. 